once again to come back to my youtube channel my name is mr jayapati and uh, in this video i am going to show you how to configure fortigate high availability in fortigate firewall right but before that i want to show you what configuration i will deploy in the fortigate firewall right so as you can see that here i have written some points whatever configuration i will deploy in this topology uh, this will be there right so first i am going to through the how to assign the management ip address in the fortigate firewall and uh, how to assign ip address uh, to the wan interface ip address and uh, vlan and trunky configuration in the switch right and the inter vlan routing configuration these are the things i will configure in the fortigate firewall and isp router which i will manage for this topology and uh, lan switch right next i will test the whatever configuration i did right so let me show you the topology what i have designed right as you can see that here i have designed a simple topology right so let me show you the topology so as you can see that uh, this is the simple topology right so let me describe the li li little bit about this topology this is the my cloud right this is the cloud is the connected the this cloud is connected to the my physical machine right which is the pc and this isp i mean this interface is getting the ip address from the dhcp server server i mean from the pc right and this interface is connected to the fortigate firewall right this is the i am assuming that this is the my airtel link right airtel one link right and this is the tcl link right from the uh, this uh, firewall right this is the tcl link which is connected to the tcl switch one right so i am just describing a little bit topology right not a this is the big topology right which i have designed this is the simple topology which i have designed for the fresher right so this is the this is the firewall right so but before that for clustering if you want to configure active active mode there so there uh, should be two firewall right right this is the firewall fortigate firewall this is the fortigate firewall right and uh, this is the ha port port 3 and port 3 i am using the ha configuration i mean hard to be this interface will be the hard to be interface right and uh, for this machine i mean this machine is the connect uh, this machine is the connected to the management interface i mean port 10 is the man management interface from here i will manage the gui access right i will take the gui access of this firewall and uh, from this firewall uh, from this machine i will also manage the fortigate firewall right so this is the this port is connected to the on the lan port i mean this port is connected to the switch and this port is also is connected to the switch right this and this port is the trunk port right and this is the router but i am assume that that this is the my application server right which belongs to uh, vlan 10 and this is the it admin right which belongs to the vlan 20 right and i will configure the vlan here and trunking this port i mean port uh, e0 and e1 will be the trunk port and uh, this port right will be assigned the vlan 10 and this port i mean e3 will be assigned the vlan 20 right so this is the my subnet uh, subnet right which uh, have been provided by the isp right i mean airtel this uh, subnet is provided by the tcl right so just assume that right and this configuration i will deploy the for uh, ha configuration i mean active active configuration right so let's get it started without any further delay
So as you can see that uh, I have designed this topology in GNS3, right? So let me take the console of the primary firewall. I want to tell you one thing, whatever configuration I will deploy, this configuration will be the step by step, right? First of all, I am going to assign management interface IP address in the 48 firewall, right? I mean port 10. So as you can see that uh, I got the console of primary 48 firewall, right? So by default username admin password 123, which I have configured previously. Right, so config system interface. So, if I show you, this is the IP address which I have configured for the management interface. Right, but if you want to configure, you can configure it. Let me show you how to configure it. So, edit port 10 set mode static set IP. I am going to have this IP and submit mask, then set allow access, set allow access pin, yes, TTPS, telnet, and SSS, right? And the description uh, set, description, I am going to have EMG empty interface, right? Management interface. That's it. Then end. If you will check, then you can check the so as you can see that uh, this IP address has been assigned for the port 10 for uh, GUI access right for management interface. So let me take the GUI access of this firewall. So go to the web browser. So as you can see that I have opened the browser. So 192, this is the management interface IP address, right? So as you can see that I'm able to access this particular firewall using GUI. So let me show you one more thing. If you want to Set the host name, you can also uh, set the host name. Config system HA equal config system global set host name FGT. I am going to have then primary right. Then end. This, this is the method right to configure the host name. If you want to configure host name, then you have to go to the 48, uh, this mode, I mean privilege mode, then config system global, then set host name 48 primary one, right? So as you can see that I'm able to access the GUI of the primary firewall. So now I'm going to configure, as you can see that uh, I'm going to configure the one interface IP address on the primary firewall. So for uh, interface configuration, you have to go to the network and interface setting. Then there is the port one, right? Which belongs to the WAN links, right? So I'm going to have Elias Airtel, right? Airtel WAN one, right? And I'm going to have a sign management, uh, sorry, one interface IP address 192.168.99.2 slash 24. And I'm going to provide administrative access only ping, right? And the rest of the things I'll leave, right? Then OK. As you can see that IP address has been assigned for this WAN port, right? I mean port one, which belongs to the Airtel WAN, right? And now I'm going to configure the port two, which belongs to the TCL 
well links right tcl i have two uh, two isp one is the airtel and uh, second is the tcl right for this lab tcl man right 192.168.98.2 plus 24. I'm going to have only ping access and ping access. Then role is going to be one right. Rest of things default right. So if I show you. So this is the 192.168.99.1 is the ISP interface IP address, right? This is the interface which uh, which is facing the one interface of the 48 firewall, right? And this is the special IP address, right? Now I am going to configure uh, VLANs in, in the switch right LAN switch. I mean, as you can see that uh, this port has been already assigned this uh, for this application server and IT admin, right? Which I configured previously. So if you want to configure, you can configure like this, right? So now. I am going to configure the interval and routing. I mean, SVI configuration on the 48 firewall. So, for now, I am going to configure the with the help of GY access, which I am going to configure interval and routing in the 48 firewall, right? So, for interval and configuration, you have to go to the interface, then type interface now, then I am going to interface name port 4. I mean port 5, right? And then application, right? Which belongs to VLAN 10, right? Elias, I'm going to, I'm going to leave. And port is going to be 5 and VLAN 10. And IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 24. One thing, this IP address will be the gateway of the LAN interface which belongs to the application VLAN, right? So I'm going to have administrative access, uh, HTTPS, HTTP pin, and SSH, SNMP, right? But you can choose as per your requirement, right? Then I'm going to have OK. If you click on this option, then as you can see that SBI has been configured for the VLAN 10. Now I'm going to configure second SBI for the VLAN 20, right? So if you want to configure inter VLAN routing, then you have to go to the create, right? Then you have to go to network interface, then go to create option, then create, there is option interface, then click this, this option, right? So I'm going to have port 5, right, which is the LAN interface and uh, IP VLAN which belongs to 20. I'm going to leave alias and the VLAN interface is going to be port 5 VLAN 20. I am actually IP admin belongs to the VLAN 20. That's why I'm giving the VLAN IP 20, right? So now I'm going to have the assign IP address. This is, this is the different channel, right? 10.2.1 slash 24. This IP address will be the gateway of the admin admin for the admin, right? Admin machine. I'm going to provide administrative access, HTTPS, ping, SSH, and SSH, sorry, SNMP, right? Then I'm going to click OK, right? So as you can see that uh, two SBI has been configured, right, for uh, in the port 5, which belongs to the LAN, right? So let me show you. 
this is the LAN interface, right? Port five and port five is the LAN. Uh, port five is the LAN interface, right? So now I'm going to configure SD WAN configuration, right? For the load balancing for both links. So if you want to configure load balancing uh, using SD WAN, then you have to go to network, right? Network, there is an option SD WAN. Click this option. So the, as you can see that uh, there is no interface of the member of SD WAN, right? So now I am going to assign port one and port two for the SD WAN, right? So port one and port two will be the member of SD WAN. So, so there, as you can see, that status is disabled. So now I am going to enable status, right? So SD WAN interface number create one. So I am going to provide the SD WAN interface. I mean, uh, this interface, uh, I mean, one interface port one and port two will be belong to the SD WAN member, right? This port will be the member of SD WAN. So, gateway, I'm going to have gateway 192.168.99.1. So, cost, I'm going to leave zero, then OK. As you can see that uh, this interface, I mean one interface has been assigned for this one interface, right? Now I'm going to create second interface, right? Which belongs to the TCL VLAN 2, uh, sorry, um, one 2, right? 192.168.98.1, right? And okay. As you can see that uh, this, this uh, both port, has been member of SD1, right? So I'm going to apply. So I think once you create the uh, was, was this port, so you will check that. So as you can see that those interface, I mean both one port one, port two, uh, has been the member of SD1, right? So now I'm going to assign. SD WAN rules. So if you want to create SD WAN rules, then you have to go to SD WAN. You can put the any of the names. So now I am going to provide the name SD WAN. Airtel and TCL type. Source I am going to have all. Right. And destination I am going to have all. So interface preference so i am going to provide interface preference for the both one interface right port one and port two which belongs to the wire interface right ATA and tcl so measured sla i am going to provide major sla google search right and uh, quality criteria i am going to provide packet loss if there will be any kind of packet loss so the both interface uh, will be monitored, right? In case of any line, uh, when link goes down, then uh, they, then we will get the alert, right? So I'm going to provide the packet loss. Then okay, then enable. So as you can see that uh, rules have been created, right? So now I'm going to configure performance SLA. So for packet loss, I am going to configure so SD WAN, SD WAN, ESL, ECL, SLA, right? So I am going to provide ping, except by default, uh, ping will be enabled. So server, I am going to have 8.8.8. So it not. 4.4, this is the Google DNS IP, right? Participants, I'm going to provide port one and port two, which belongs to the wire interface type. So rest of the things I'm going to leave, okay. So as you can see that uh, rules SLA performance has been created. So now I'm going to create default root static, right? 
So if you want to create default route, then uh, uh, default route, then you have to go to network. Then there is your option static route. Then create. Right. So now I am going to leave these things. So now I am going to create. Uh, so now I am going to provide interface SD1 interface. There is your option right. So administrative administrative access and to provide 10 by default, right? Then okay. So as you can see that uh, static route has been configured and SD1 both port has been the member of the static route, right? So now I'm going to create policy. So, for policy configuration, you have to go through policy object, then there is an option. Let me show you. <clears throat> if you want to configure policy, then you have to go to policy and object option. So there is a IPv4 policy, then go to create, right? So I'm going to create a policy for application and server. So application, right, billion 20, right? Incoming interface will be the my intervillian routing interface, I mean SBI interface. So there is the option VLAN 10. I mean this option. So it is showing the VLAN 1, but I'm going to change first of all. So So as you can see that VLAN ID is 10, right? But I have uh, seen the LAN port name, right? So don't worry. So for policy configuration, you have to go to the policy and object. So application VLAN 10, right? Application server, right? So I'm going to provide, I mean, let me show you. this interface, right, which belongs to the application range, application server, right, that I, that I am going to configure, right, in policy. So incoming interface will be the, this port, right, I mean SVI interface, which belong to the application server range, outgoing interface, the SD1 interface, right, source I am going to have all, and destination I am going to have also all, which is I am going to have all, then all session, okay. As you can see that policy has been configured, right? So now I am going to configure second policy for admin department, IT admin department, IT admin, sorry, will IT bilance. Twenty right, IT admin department. Incoming interface will be the SBI interface. Will and twenty right. Outgoing interface will be the SD one. The source I am going to have all. Destination I am going to have also all. But you can configure it as per your requirement, right? Because I am doing lab. All session then okay. As you can see that. Two policy has been configured. This is the default policy in every firewall. I mean, implicitly denying state, uh, statement. I mean, policy, right? So let's check whether I'm able to ping from the LAN zone or not. Now I'm going to open. Now I'm going to start. So for so one more thing here, I have configured the interesting traffic. I mean, ACL and netting. So whatever traffic will come through the firewall, right? So this ISP will translate those IP address into private to public IP address, right? Because I don't have a real uh, link, right? I am doing the lab in the GNS3. So just follow me what I'm doing. 
if you have any query related to it you can ask me right just comment me comment me right So let me show you what I configured in the ISP router, right? But in real environment, you don't have to access, right, for the ISP router. You can't access the ISP router, right? As you can see that IP address, whatever IP, IP address I have configured and this interface is getting the IP address from the DSCP server with this interface which is connected to the physical machine, right? So, so IP net translation. So, as you can see that translation is getting, right? So, so run. So run section IP net right. As you can see that uh, these are the netting configuration. So run section ACL. So, Right. So, if you want to configure interesting traffic, you can configure it, right? Access list and permit any, right? Anyone, anyone can come here, right? So, let me show you that whether I am able to reach to the Google DNS server or not, whether I am able to ping Google DNS or not. So let me show you one more thing. If you see that there is no traffic is getting right on this firewall policy. Once I ping from the application server, then there will be get the some traffic right. So let me ping ping a dot 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 let me show you that uh, at this time traffic will get on this policy. Just refresh this UI of the FortiGate firewall. As you can see that traffic is getting on this policy, right? It's mean whatever I have configured on this FortiGate firewall is correct, right? So now I am going to have open this the admin department as well. As you can see that still I am getting the ping response from the Google DNS. So if any of the wine links goes down, then nothing will be happen anything, right? Traffic will, will be smoothly uh, going up, right? So let me show you. 
that uh, this uh, interface is belong to the Airtel links, right? If this interface get down in case, right? So traffic will not be disturbed, right? Send down. So LAN user will not able to know that whether any link down or not. Only wait a few time. As you can see, that traffic is going through the FortiGet firewall, right? If any of the links goes down, this is the method, right? Which performing the SD1, right? So no shutdown. So if you have configured the SD1, so nothing will be there. Incorrect, right? So as you can see, that traffic is going through the FortiGet firewall smoothly, right? So let me take the console of this browser. So as you can see that I have taken the console of this admin uh, PC. So first of all, I'm going to configure IP address, right? So if you want to configure IP address, then you have to go to the network setting. Then there is an option 10.1.2.2, right? It will be 10.2.1 which I have configured for the SBI in the FortiGate firewall, then apply, right? So let me check once whether IP address has been configured or not. This is the Linux machine. So uh, I have to run this command if config, right? So as you can see that IP address has been configured. So let me pin that uh, if dot eight dot eight. So as you can see that uh, I am getting the ping response right from the Google DNS. So it means whatever configured uh, I have configured in the FortiGate firewall, everything is correct, right? As per my knowledge. So now I am going to configure active, active, right? FortiGate high availability. So, but before that, I will recommend you some. Thing related to FortiGate, what FortiGate firewall recommend? All the FortiGate model and firmware should be same, right? And uh, must be same, right? FortiGate firmware and model must be same. And uh, when on the LAN interface must be connected to the in any of the switch, right? With it's performing the L2 traffic, right? So you must connect it to the uh, interface uh, from the switch, right? Any other switch. I mean, whatever, suppose, let's suppose this FortiGate firewall down, the traffic will come through this uh, port 5, right? So now I'm going to configure HA configuration, activity configuration in FortiGate firewall, right? So this is the configuration which I have configured, uh, which I will configure, right? Uh, so if you want to configure, so now I'm going to configure from the CLI. So if you want to configure activity configuration, then uh, you have to run this command. This is the simple configuration which I have shown here, right? So as you can see that uh, uh, set, uh, you have to set the group ID, right? And group ID must be same. Whatever configuration I will deploy on the primary for, uh, firewall, same configuration will be deployed on the secondary firewall, right? So, and, and uh, uh, you have to also ch change the host name of this FortiGate firewall, right? So only that's it. Only you have to um, run two commands: this HA configuration and uh, FortiGate host name. You have to change only, right? So now I'm going to copy this command and I will describe all the configuration in detail in next video, right? So I'm going to copy this video, right? So one more thing I want to show you, if you want to monitor this the interface and port one, port five, port three, port four, and port two. So you have to run this command set monitor port one, port two, port three, port four, and I'm going to have also port five, right? Port five, right? So I'm going to want this command. So let's move to the FortiGate firewall primary firewall right so admin password one two three so config system let me i have configured the whole whole configuration so let me copy this configuration
as you can see that Rahul as a configuration I have configured right if you want to check so, so you can check also get system H A right get system H A status so as you can see that uh, this firewall is assuming that I am the master because no one is the player right so as you can see that this firewall is the master so let me show you from the GI, GUI admin one two three As you can see that it is showing the master right configuration synchronized. So let me show you the HA configuration. So if you want to check, you can also. So now I am going to log in primary firewall using the GUI. So if you want to check the HA configuration, then you have to go to the system, right? There's an option HA. So as you can see that at this time, this firewall is the master, right? Because cluster is not up till now, right? So let me open the secondary firewall. So from there, I will configure the HA activity configuration high availability, right? So now I am going to start this firewall. So at this firewall, I will configure only host name and the HA configuration. That's it. After that, this secondary firewall will negotiate the all the co configuration from the primary firewall. So once configuration will be negotiated from between the both firewall, then both firewall will act as a active active mode right so just wait a for minute once this firewall uh, will come up right as you can see that uh, secondary firewall has been started so let me open this firewall right so there is no password configured right so as you can see that username had been changed get system so now if i show you there is no configure as, uh, configuration has been configured right get system interface so as you can see that nothing has been configured till now so now i am going to configure host name first of all right get system get system get config system global set host name f g t to right secondary right as you can see that host name has been configured so now i am going to configure ha configuration in secondary firewall right so here i have to change the only priority right while configuring the HA high ability active active mode. As you can see that I have changed the HA priority, right? So you don't have to configure all the configuration in HA configuration of what you have configured in this firewall, only you have to change the priority, right? So now I'm going to change the priority of secondary firewall. As you can see that uh, whole HA configuration has been configured configuration. Let me show you the status get system HA status. Right. Get system HA. Right. So let me check get system HA status. Just a minute. So it is showing that the slaves external files are not seen in, in sync with master. So you we have to wait for five to ten minutes. Once it is once configuration has been negotiate, negotiated between the both firewall, then this firewall 
will show the slave forward. So just wait a minute. So let me show you the GUI configuration, right? Username admin password one two three. As you can see that here it is showing that are not synchronized, right? So still configuration is not synchronized. As you can see that at this time both firewall is uh, is acting active active mode, right? So wait a for a minute for five to ten minute, right? As you can see that throughput is showing that both the protected firewall. I mean traffic is moving from the both firewall, right? So we 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 have to wait for a minute. Mode is active active group ID is ten, right? Group name is a cluster, right? Password configured heartbeat interface port three and port four, right? As you can see that all the configuration has been synced with the secondary firewall, right? So at this time, configuration has been negotiated, right? So if you want to check get system HA status, right? So as you can see that at this time it is showing as the master and slave. So secondary router, uh, secondary firewall is acting as a active active mode. So let me show you the GUI configuration as well. Just press this browser. Long out for me. And I mean one, two, three. Go to system and HA. Right. As you can see, that uh, configuration has been synced between the both. I will write. And both router is acting as a active active mode, right? If you want to check the HA configuration, so you can check from here, right? As well. So as you can see that, right? So let me check that uh, from this admin machine, right? Whether I am able to ping. Eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Yes, I am able to ping. Right, eight dot eight dot eight. So now I just want to wanted to uh, just uh, test that uh, once primary firewall is uh, goes down, then traffic uh, should not be disrupted. Right. So now I am going to restart uh, primary firewall, which is acting active active mode. So now I am going to restart. Right. So let me open the CLI. Now I'm going to restart admin. 
Educate. If you want to restart the firewall, you have to type this command educate restart. Type educate reboot. Right. I am going to restart. Right. As you can see, that traffic will not be disrupted. Right. It is still going through the secondary firewall. Right. Just wait a minute because this machine is rebooting. I mean, primary firewall, right? If you want to check also from the DS application uh, server, you can check that that nothing will be impacted, right? Ping e dot e dot e dot e p five thousand, right? As you can see that I'm getting the reply from the DS from from the ISP, right? So let me open the browser from the admin machine. If you want to check, if you want to check, you can check that I'm going to have a facebook.com, right? Facebook.com. Okay. So I think I have to configure DNS IP, right? So DNS server in the ISP machine. So let me go to control panel and there is your option network. So I think IP address is not assigned. So then 10.1.2.2. Then .2 .2. Name of the server. Right. Then apply. So let me once again open the firewall. Open the browser of admin PC. Right. Google.com. As you can see that I at this time I am able to access Google. Right. If you want to check, you can also check YouTube. Right. You can also check the LinkedIn, right? Facebook, you can also check news.com, right? News.com. So this connection is disrupted. I mean, India, I mean, USA, right? You can also get the access, right? You can see that this is the way you can configure the get high liberty as a active active mode, right? So let me check whether uh, primary firewall has been come up, right? As you can see that the primary firewall has been also come up. So let me add me one, two, three, command later. So at this time, this firewall is showing that uh, HA master synchronized, right? I think all the configuration has been synced between the active active 48 firewall. If you want to check, you can also check that. As you can see that it is doing the load balancing, right? Both traffic is going through the primary and secondary firewall as well. So both device i mean 48 firewall are utilizing right so if you want to check the policy you can also check you can check that go to policy and policy object as you can see that logs is getting from this from the both policies right if you want to monitor you can monitor that you can also check as you can see that right and also verify from like this. So this is the method. 
from the way you can configure the FortiGate active active configuration, right? So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel so that I can enhance my technical experience. If you have any kind of doubt, you can put the uh, comment in the below section. So I will upload this uh, topology and configuration in the on the YouTube, right? So thank you for watching this video.